This morning in Project Fitness, those chilly temperatures and the snow on the ground isn't stopping us from getting outside and getting in a great workout. The sun just was shining, too. You've probably seen many people outside running or walking, still getting that exercise. So Eric Lonergan is here from Roadrunner to show us some gear that we can start incorporating so we can take advantage of the weather, right? Exactly, yeah. The important thing is to stay warm out there and also mm -hmm. stay safe. Uh, yes. Probably the most important thing is to be seen while you're out there with the, you know, the darkness in the morning and then the, uh, the early nights. It's important to stay safe for sure. Okay, so let's talk about that. These bright, bright colors that you have. Yeah, absolutely. So you'll see a lot of that bright yellow, a lot of uh, like 3M too. So when light hits it, it really pops. There's a lot of reflective strips built into these clothes. Mm -hmm. So um, you can be seen. What's nice is you have the option of having it built into your actual jacket, or you can throw over a vest on top of like a typical shirt that you would wear out there. Or maybe incorporate something even like a bright sneaker that you have or those gloves. Yeah, you can almost accessorize with. Yeah, exactly. Brighter. So a lot of the shoe companies will come out with like winterized versions of their mm -hmm. shoes so they're typically a little brighter they'll have a lot more reflective material in them too um, and then yeah throwing on the gloves is an awesome way to be seen and then stay warm yes yeah, so you don't want to forget about those extremities uh, speaking of which your head Covering your head can actually keep you very warm whenever you're doing physical activity. Yeah, exactly. A lot of times the heat will escape through through your head uh, because you're all layered up. So what we have is a balaclava that will cover your entire head, also mm -hmm. your face as well. Um, and it also has some reflectivity built into it as well. Oh, great. Um, and then we have a nice hat here that's made of a polyester blend. So it keeps your head warm, but also dry. Um, and then it's fleece lined as well. Very important. That whole kind of dry fit sort of movement that we've been seeing a lot even continuing into the clothing yes yeah, exactly a lot of times uh you want to steer clear of like cotton materials. Cotton tends to hold on to moisture. You think about mm -hmm. when you get out of a shower, you dry off with the towel, so it'll kind of hold on to it. You want materials that are going to move that moisture uh, away from your skin and keep oh. you dry. That's a great example, thinking of that towel. Yeah, and it really just kind of clings on to the moisture. You don't want that then cooling and making you even colder yeah, when you're exactly. running. Yeah, exactly. If, if you're cold and wet and the wind hits you, it's going to be an awful day for a run. Definitely. Sure. All right, now what are we looking at here? Um, so these are called yak tracks. These are awesome things that you can throw on the bottom of your shoes. So mm -hmm. when it's icy or kind of slick like it was the past couple of days, you throw those on your shoes. It just helps increase traction so you can stay upright when you're out there. You might even have these for your tires on your car. Yeah, now you can much. get them it's, yeah, yeah exactly. for your own tires, I guess, on your legs. <laughs> right. Or you can grab a pair of shoes like these. These seem great for um, maybe some slick roads, slick conditions. Yeah, exactly. Those are a, what we call a trail shoe. So they have a little bit more traction, a um, little bit more water resistant too. So the upper won't uh, breathe quite as well, but it'll mm -hmm. keep the water out and uh, keep you dry when you're out there on your run too. Now we've seen some very cold temperatures. So sometimes you need to layer up and you have a, a little, a lovely little model right there yeah, kind of exactly. doing it right. Yep. So what you want to do is you want to start with your base layer. So this will sit right up against the skin. Um, what that'll do is that'll kind of grab that moisture and start moving it away from your body. Uh -huh. um, the second layer here is probably the most important. It's uh, We call it the mid layer. So basically it's going to be that piece that sits in between your base layer and your shell piece. Mm -hmm. um, it's the most versatile piece in your closet. So if you just have one piece to get, I would get that because um, you can yep. put a t-shirt under it or you could put a longer sleeve shirt under it if it gets cold. Mm -hmm. um, and then this top piece is great for when it gets windy or rainy. Yeah. Um, it'll be water waterproof in certain spots and a little bit breezy the ball so you don't get too sweaty in there. You even have some um, some great socks here too. Again, kind of going with that moisture wicking exactly. material. Yeah, really so comfy. This, these are actually a wool sock, so they're really good at uh, moving moisture as well. So mm -hmm. wool and polyester blend, great way to kind of keep your feet dry. Beautiful. So many great items and even some lights too, little safety lights so you can definitely be seen if you're on the bike or you're running on the move somewhere. Look at that. Lighten it up out here. Thank yep. you so much, Eric. These are all great items, so be safe when you're running outside.